Hello and welcome to another video on flashing a free operating system on a mobile phone. Today we are going to flash PostMarket OS on a OnePlus 6T using a Linux PC. PostMarket OS is based on a Linux distribution instead of being based on the Android open source project like many other custom operating systems for Android R. This means that you can run apps for that are meant for the Linux desktop on your mobile phone as well. If you want to learn more about the motivation behind this video, you can go on our campaign website, upcyclingandroid.org. To start, we are going to the download page, and then looking on the right-hand side for our device model, OnePlus 6T in our case, and we are greeted with a few different options to, in terms of a user interface. So this is very similar to desktop environments for Linux uh, PCs. And we are just going to choose one, in this case Fosh, and download the latest release files. So this is for one, the recovery image. You see that I've already downloaded it and the sh checksum file as well which is also already downloaded, and then the system image, uh, which is also, also here, and it's checksum file. Now that we have downloaded files, we can go ahead uh, to the installation instructions page for our device. And you see that in the first box it says that this is actually a supplementary page to the OnePlus 6 page. And in fact, the differences to the OnePlus 6 are quite small in terms of hardware, it's just the audio jack and a slightly different uh, screen resolution. Um, and since the main instructions on how to install PostMarket OS are contained in this page, we'll just go ahead and go to the OnePlus 6 page. Scrolling down, we are explained how to enter the f fast boot or the flash mode um, on this device, but also on the OnePlus 6T device. Now, to install PostMarket OS on our mobile phone, we need a computer with fastboot and ADB installed. And if you're on Linux, this normally um, is done by installing Android Tools package or something very similar uh, via your package manager. Moving on, it is suggested that uh, you install the latest uh, release of Oxygen OS on, on your uh, OnePlus 6T. Uh, this is so that the firmware is up to date before flashing PostMarket OS. Now, to unlock the bootloader, I changed the window configuration. So on the left hand side, you still have the installation instructions page open, and on the right hand side, you see the OnePlus 6T via webcam feed. So, to unlock the bootloader, we need to boot into the system and go to the settings and tap about phone and find the build number and tapping it as many times as are needed to become a developer. So. Now that we are developer, we can go back to the main menu and go on system and find developer options and toggling OEM unlocking. This will ena enable us to unlock the bootloader. Now that we've done that, we need to enter the flash mode so, when, sc when scrolling up, we see that for the OnePlus 6T, uh, after having it unplugged from USB and powered off, we need to hold the power and both volume up and volume down button buttons. So, powering off the phone and then pressing both volume up, volume down and power. We 
are brought to a device that's not the fast boot mode, but we can go uh, to the main menu, advance, and then reboot into fast boot. And now to unlock the phone, we need to connect the USB cable to it. Now that we've connected the USB cable to the phone, we need to unlock the bootloader by issuing the following commands. I'll just copy it over to the command line. Uh, we'll be prompted uh, with a dialog on the phone. In this case, we can navigate with the volume buttons. And when unlock bootloader, um, is highlighted, we confirm with the power button. So you see this will wipe um, all the data on the phone. Now that we've unlocked the bootloader, we go back to the installation page. And to flash the images now that we've downloaded, um, we can use fastboot to, to flash them on the phone. So we'll issue these three fastboot commands. First is uh, to erase the DTBO partition. Um, and this has to be done in fast boot mode, so again we have to power off the phone. And boot it into fast boot mode. Okay. Which worked out. And now to flash the recovery in the system image to the phone. Um, we actually first need to verify the checksum files that we've downloaded before, just to make sure that um, um, that they are not corrupted. So in this case, um, the recovery image file is not corrupted, and we can um, extract it. So we issued on XZ and now we see that um, the image file has been um, put into this folder we are in. And now we can go ahead and copy the fast boot flash command over and um, as argument we take the, the recovery image file. Now to flash the system image, we go back to the installation instructions and copy the next fastboot flash command. And the same procedure as before. We check uh, whether it's a valid, um, whether we, we've downloaded a non-corrupted file. So. We find out whether it's corrupted or not, and indeed um, it's not corrupted. It seems to be um, a good file. And now we extract the image file. And now that we've extracted the system image file, we can paste um, the fastboot flash command and as argument um, give the, the image file we just extracted. Now 
Now that the flushing process is completed, we go back to the installation instructions page and notice that uh, for these pre-built images uh, the default username is user and the default password is 147147. Um, yeah, these were the installation instructions for pre-built images, so now the only thing that remains to, to be done is to reboot into the system. So now that we've booted into the system, we can unplug the USB cable and try to log in with the password 147147. And yeah, we are in the system. Um, this was this the video about flashing PostMarket OS on a OnePlus 6T. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.